Hey guys, so we're back for another month of predictions for Wrexham Football Club. So we've got you know, the month of April, which is hopefully this is the last month of fixtures for Wrexham. Obviously we don't want to go for the playoffs, but obviously that is a slight possibility. Obviously it would be great if you guys, you know, who listen to this, could subscribe and like, like the video. And that also let me know what your predictions are for the games this month. So we've got seven games, four at home, three away. So kicking off with the first game. So our first game is Oldham at home. Now Oldham have improved a little bit recently. Obviously they've got a few former Wrexham players in Fondop, Rooney and Tollett there. They have you know, beaten Woking, they've gone to Barnet and Chesterfield and won both at them. But I'm not really seeing, I don't really think they're going to do anything against us. I think Wrexham's going to win this one. I think they'll be better than they were in the FA Cup game where it was a very comfortable win for Wrexham. But again, I think this is going to be another victory for Wrexham and you know, get us back, back to the top of the table because obviously Notts County have won last night to put them back ahead, which will then lead us into the Good Friday fixture away at Halifax. So obviously there's four thousand of us go in there. I'll be I'll be there as well. Hoping to win that one. I think I think we win. We'll, I think we will win that one. Halifax again. I think they have improved a little bit in recent weeks. You know they are a fair few points by the relegation zone. Obviously they're playing in the trophy this upcoming weekend. But I think they got enough to avoid relegation. And obviously with such a big following from Wrexham to Halifax, I think it'll be enough. It'll be a comfortable win against them which will lead us in to the big game on Easter Monday home against Notts County which you could almost say it's almost a title decider because because of those games in hand Wrexham do have a slight advantage in you know we can slip at points and still and still win the league now both teams are in an amazing form obviously we've had Langstaff has yesterday scored his 40th goal of the season I so this is quite a tough one, but with our home records, I'm yeah I'm gonna say Wrexham Wrexham are gonna win this one, which will then put them six points clear following the Easter break, which should should be enough you know avoiding any further slip ups that should be enough for Wrexham to win well obviously not win the league on that day but give us enough room for the rest of the season now following that we do go away to Barnet hmm Barnet you know when we played the middle of the season it was that crazy 7-5 game they're they're looking relatively strong really hmm I think you know for this one I'm gonna say a draw it might seem like not going to might be able to pull back a little bit with this one but obviously if if I'm correct and we beat Notts County it still gives us a bit more room and then we go, well rather, we return to the race course to play at home against Yeovil in our game in hand. I think, you know, not Yeovil, they've you know, dropped into the bottom four recently. Still struggling. I can't, you can't see beyond a Wrexham victory in this one, really. Which, at that point, will really leave us, well not quite be able to win the league, but leave us into the next game where we play Boreham Wood. Bournemouth are another are a tough opposition who probably probably I, I suspect by this stage in the season they will probably have secured themselves a playoff spot because if I look at the table now you know they're four points ahead of Bromley mm, it could still be still could be pretty tight for the end of the season but but I think a couple of games to go the playoff place will probably be, probably be set and it won't surprise me if they rest some players i know lugard might mention about not wanting to devalue the competition by resting players but he's got to look at options for playoffs really so i think that'll be another wrexham victory which ideally should be the game where wrexham win the league hopefully that's our last game in last sorry last home game in the national league before we have the final day at torquay at torquay they're another team you know threatening relegation they seem to put up fights here and there, but it's it's still a lot, a lot of struggle for them, really. And I think this is going to be a victory. So if you're looking at what I predicted, so I predicted six victories and a draw. Obviously, that 
that big victory against Notts County and then a draw with Barnet. So we should, if I'm if I'm correct, <laughs> be a victory. So it should be the win the league against Bournemouth on the 22nd. So hopefully we don't have any, any drama on the, on the last day of the season. Obviously that could change. But we'll have a quick look over Notts County's games. Obviously Notts County have fewer games than Wrexham. They should have played you know, Altrincham on the weekend, but that was changed yesterday due to Altrincham being in the FA Trophy. So they've got three home games and two away. So first on East on Good Friday, you know they are at home against Wealdstone. I think I think that'll be a comfortable win for Notts County. I don't see any any chances they're going to slip up there. The Plenty of rest beforehand, you know, well over a week for any niggles or whatever. Of course, I've already mentioned, you know, that when they play against Wrexham, I think Notts County will lose to Wrexham in that very decisive, sorry, the very, very important title, well, almost title decider. And then they go to, or rather they, they're at home against Woking. Woking, you know, they, they do at home against ourselves. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards a draw in that one, which obviously, you know, on the same day we have drawn if I'm, if I'm correct anyway, we'll have drawn against Barnet and they've drawn against Woking. And then the following week, they'll be the way at Maidstone, who I've looked like they've been gone for, a, been relegated for, for some time now. So that should be another comfortable win for Notts County. And they're probably just hoping that we slip up so they can take it into the final game. And then they, they finish off at home against York, which again, I think that's going to be a win for Notts County. So I think we're going to see three Three wins, a draw and defeat for Notts County in the final game. I think it's, it's still going to be very tight. There could be some twists and turns as we progress through the month of April. And, you know, any suspensions, injuries. But I think this will be the month that Wrexham will finally get over the line, finally win the league and get promoted. I'm, I do hope that actually Notts County win the playoffs as well because it would be a shame you know, for a team to also break 100 points like Wrexham to miss out on it and obviously you know, they've got a player in Langstaff who scored you know 40 goals at the moment and looks like he's going to break a fair few more goal scoring records over the next month it'd be great to hear what you all think as well you know do you think Wrexham will beat Notts County can you see any other further slip-ups from from either team and you know, let me know what you think let me it'd be great to hear from you don't forget to subscribe please like the video and we'll chat with you soon thanks bye-bye